Ah, there we go. <laughs> All right, welcome. We're going to be playing some World of Horror on the channel. It's going to be going on for a long time. It's going to be a nice little series. Uh, I am absolutely obsessed with this game. I am fucking addicted. There's so much cool shit to do. It's never the same every time you play it. You can choose the goddamn palette for the background. Some of them are boring. Some of them are a little more colorful. Oh, shit, ow. I've got grass spines on my fucking leg. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Uh, hold on. Ah. <laughs> uh, that's better. Now I'm not being stabbed in the legs. Let's go ahead and uh, choose a design here. Kind of like this. This is simple. It's clean. Looks like blood. I'm with it. Let's do a quick play. It's the easiest way to get into this shit. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new, unknown threats. Old gods, malicious, eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand and you finally arrived in the doomed town. So, yeah, this game's all about, like, eldritch demons and shit coming back. Uh, and the world itself is crumbling because of their presence. Uh, I never really understood this one. It's Alexandria, 48 BC. It has something to do with the destruction of a, a black marble statue. Um, and it's been in a museum. So. Yay. <laughs> I'm a chick. I guess I don't have any uh, weaknesses. So, let's get start. All right, that's in the mailbox. So, this is sort of just like the hub. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change my clothes. And something a little more. You know what? I like I like this one. I'm gonna go out in town. It's a party. It's a party night. But people are gonna die. Uh, let's go ahead and do. Let's do this one. I don't think I've done this one before. It began with one fisherman, who dragged something truly awful from the belly of the ocean—a dark, writhing ooze that mesmerized him beyond control. Cool. He hid himself away for a week, adoring it, not to be seen until one moonlit night when a young girl spotted his boat drifting away, a single lantern swinging at the helm, and the captivated fisherman singing eerily to his catch. Now more and more fishermen have begun to find the vile ooze in their nets, and one by one they are disappearing. Soon the ocean will have taken them all. That's fucking cool. Alright. So... Time to investigate at the fish market. Where the hell is the fish market? I guess that's downtown. I, I keep forgetting. They circle the places you should be exploring. Let's go to the shop. And the doge is here. He's pretty cool. Um, steak's knife is a pretty decent item. Uh, how much money do I have? Oh, I got four. Okay. So, that is nice. Two experience for each... Oh, that is... Okay, I'm gonna want one of those. Very handy to have. Alright, investigate. <clears throat> the investigation is starting to take a toll on your health. You feel like you're about to fall asleep standing up. How do you address your weakened state? Um. I feel like, in most cases, falling asleep is a bad idea. Let's buy a coffee. Okay, so I lost a little money, but I'm alright. I'll take it. That's all right. Although you brave the stench for hours, you glean nothing besides the fact that the fisherman had a wife. Perhaps you should pay her a visit. All right. Let's do it. While you walk through the crowded space, someone bumps into you and quickly apologizes. 
realize what's happening. Oh, like a thief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it even says petty thief. All right. Hey, they stole your wallet. You quickly grab their arm and they drop it before disappearing into the crowd. That usually doesn't go well for me. I'll take that. Uh, when you arrive at the fisherman's house, it stands long vacated. Peering in through the dusty window, you recoil in shock. Oh, come on. Tell me what I saw. <laughs> the fuck? It's me. Um, feels eight damage to ghost. That... God, I, I want the knife, but like also, that is way more useful. I'm buying it. Fuck it. Um, okay, let's go ahead and check out the mansion. Overgrown garden. It looks like one of the previous owners of this mansion liked to read. Dusty tomes to reach the ceiling. I, I fucked that up. You don't have much time, but maybe you could spare a minute to look through the books. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the shelves. Fuck. The books are covered with a thick layer of dust. They seem rare, but cover mundane topics such as botany and anatomy. All right, fair enough. The fisherman's wife lies in the kitchen, mutilated and covered with black marks. Great. Oh, don't tell me she's going to be like a monster. Let's keep going. Uh-oh. You enter a room full of wooden statues. You are amazed by how realistic some of them look. So realistic, in fact, that you could have sworn one of them blinked. Oh, no, it's a vampire, bro, bro. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Perception. I'm going to check him out, see what his stats are, and then let's go ahead and give him a nice... Oh, no, I need to look for a weapon. Uh, yeah, scavenge. So improv. Um, I don't think there's much else I can really do or need to do. Dodge? No, I can't. All right, launch. So yeah, that's how this game works. You have a certain amount of time to like fill in actions, uh, and then you enact those things all at once. That's not bad. Uh, let's equip that. Once a great sculptor, he sacrificed everything to be able to continue his work. Oh, that's so cool. All right, uh, let's go ahead and prepare and strong attack. Prepare makes it a guarantee that my attack will go through. Uh, so that's kind of my favorite thing to do. Just ba -ba. Shit, it's got 16 HP. This might take a while. Fuck you. Ouch. Fuck you. Got out of my face. Shit, man. I'm losing reason. That's not good. Do I have circles under my eyes? I swear to God, my character stayed tired from that thing earlier. Yeah! Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Surely someone else must have caught one of these. He lurk around hoping to spot one of them. Hmm. That makes sense. Let's swing by the hardware shop. Hey, man. He looks like Hitler. Uh, ooh. Five damage, speed 82. I've got a branch. I mean, that's... That's not bad. And of acid. Eldritch enemies. The thing is, I could buy this, but uh, there's no guarantee I'm going to find an Eldritch monster. Um, I'd rather have this. Yeah. Where'd my shit go? Items. Oh, I don't have money. Oh, that was a waste of my fucking time. I'm an idiot. My bad. <laughs> oh, well. The ocean is hungry. You're stopped by a person with a knife. They look incredibly sad. It wants me, but I'm afraid I'm too much of a coward to do it myself. Can you help me? The fuck? No, I'm gonna talk him out of it. Come on, man. Be real. Yeah! After a long conversation, they hand you the knife and thank you. Hell yeah, lady. You stay alive. The young man has glassy eyes and mumbles his replies as he caresses his catch. The beating movements of his arms disturb you. Beating move? Oh, God. Is that him? Uh, I don't like that. Is it in his skin? I swear to God. Why do I have a ritual dagger? Where did that come from? What the fuck? Walking on the beach, you spot a weirdly colored rock. It seems to be covered in some sort of black algae. So this is it. You realize it's not a rock? Oh God. Okay, what is this? You know? I should be using that. Um... 
Can I not equip it? I'll figure that out in a second. Oh! Drowner sponge. Oh, God. You can see that it's a body. What the fuck, dude? Can I not equip this now? Oh. You don't have time to change the equipment. Okay, I'll do it later, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and eye you up. And then let's give you a swing and an attack. Bam. Yes, sir. Okay. I don't have fire. On the flesh of dead animals. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Ow. Fuck, dude. I'm not gonna- I'm gonna die here. Dude! I'm fucking dead already. I didn't- I, I, I didn't even get the start, man. It's not, it's not fair. Wait. Does that mean I survive? Nope. That encounter was the final straw. Your mind is stacked and you've been locked up in an asylum. It would be comforting to accept that you were insane. That no old god is awakening to devour humanity. But the drugs haven't made these horrors disappear. You've perished. Reason loss. Yeah. Not my best run. <laughs> I'll say that. It's probably one of my worst ones. It's alright. You can always try again. I really need to look at that black screen more closely. See what that means. Alright. Let's change this up. Ooh. I like that. Okay. Let's do a quick play. Road figures. You know, this. it's the same spiel. Old gods are coming. You're fucked. Better do some shit. The media has been reporting about various people with seemingly supernatural skills. Could have any connection with the news about stars disappearing from the night sky. So, casting spells raises doom instead of its normal cost. Um, and all my purple cards. Okay. Weird. So, I'm a dude. I'm a, I'm a smoker, too. Hard not. Plus one damage while under the nicotine rush effect. I need to buy some cigarettes. <laughs> not bad. Um... Oh, I have nicotine withdrawal though, so maybe not. I don't know. I have a ritual already. What the fuck? When your allies die, a random stack gets raised by one. Oh, I like that. I might as well pick up some people on this run. I think my next move is change my clothes. Let's uh <laughs> let's go with the shirtless one. I like that. Sort of shirtless. Alright. Let's do... Let's do this one. Is this the same one? It is. I, I want to actually win this one. Uh, we know this. Okay, investigate. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and shop. Companies, camera... One knowledge flash combat action adds a chance to dodge the incoming attack. Huh. Okay. Um. Let's get let's get a steak knife. Let's get a start. Okay. Investigate. What's the but yeah. You're pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend while waiting for a train. My brain just, like, farted. She's undoubtedly changed a lot since you last seen her. These days, she's moderating a web forum dedicated to the paranormal. Maybe she knows something useful. Um, let's chat. Let's just chat. Fuck! It's certainly nice to meet an old friend after so many years, but you don't learn anything important. Great. Although you brave the stench for hours, you glean nothing besides the fact that the fisherman had a wife. Maybe we should pay her a visit. I wonder if there's something I could do to like change the result of this. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the schoolyard. Uh, let's observe. Taru is staring at the clowns. They look like heads. Let's see relax. So this is the same kind of shit. I'm just gonna try to get some of these guys to join me. Uh, let's share a creepy story. 
I don't have any. Really? Gossip. Oh man. I'm nervous. Uh, at least gossip. Yeah, there we go. Got one. Uh, okay, you look fine. It's just strange. Nice. They look fine. Okay, nice to join. All right, I got a nice little crew here. That should be good enough. Now, I still don't know what this is about. You can go to the rooftop, and there's this kind of creepy little lady up here. Uh, I'm allowed to set up a telescope if I have one, but I don't. Uh, and I can talk with her. Should probably leave her alone. She's mumbling something to herself. Still got to figure this out. Maybe on uh, the next episode, y'all could, like, help me out. Try to figure that shit out. Uh, leave. Okay. Let's go to the school. This door shouldn't be there. It shouldn't lead anywhere. More importantly, it shouldn't pull you in. Fuck. No, resist. No, I feel like that was going to be bad. I'm not fucking with that. Okay. Still the same. Right. Stop right there! You hear a voice coming from behind you. You won't destroy my life's work! Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, no, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. He's moving. He's moving. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> it's inspected. I don't like this guy. Uh, what the fuck? I guess I have a knife. Let's do that. Human man. Oh. Weak against magic. Cornered animal. When injured, they deal double damage. Oh, shit. A violent man obsessed to the point of madness. Uh, let's... Let's use this. Nicotine rush, there we go. And let's fuck him up. Fuck you, dude. Yeah, he's almost dead already. Oh. Okay, come on. We can do this. Yeah, fuck you, man. So, <clears throat> here's a little tidbit for y'all. I don't know if you noticed already, but sometimes when you're in a loading screen, you'll see these red symbols in the background. And sometimes, I, I think... Those symbols indicate something specific is coming next. Uh, I'm not certain, and I kind of want to discuss that in the comments. So if you got any information on that kind of shit, go ahead and share share below. Uh, okay, so if I discard two items, I can do that thing. Do I have money? I got two funds. Let's go shopping at the hardware shop. Flare gun. Deals two damage to target enemy. Eight damage of Eldritch or plant type. So this is like fire, basically. And there's a crowbar, though. Oh, man. I want to get the crowbar really bad, because then it could be like uh, fucking Half-Life. Gordon Gordon Ramsay. No. <laughs> um, five damage, four damage. I'm going to need this. I know I'm going to need that. All right. It's just a usable thing. Okay. Right, let's investigate the mansion. Never know what's going to happen on this run. Some mysterious shit can just happen. Oh, God. You find a heavy tome wrapped in moth-eaten black velvet in an old locked cabinet. When you remove the book's wrapping, you recoil in disgust. It's bound in human flesh. Let's read it. <laughs> yeah! Okay. The Sleeping God. Is that the current one, or... I don't know. Cool. Oh, you, see, you seen that? What the fuck was that? Ugh. Alright, so I'm with the lady now. She's right there. Um, I don't think I can do anything else. Just keep investigating. <laughs> Smoke a cigarette on your way. That pair has been following you since morning. You finally managed to lose them, but can't shake the feeling that it will only get worse. Oh, shit. See, I don't like how low my health is. I'm going to go ahead and take a little break. Let's rest. 
It certainly feels good to be back at home. You take a short nap on your bed. Your phone. You phone your best friend and talk about unrelated stuff. So there's that. Time flies by so fast. You prepare yourself to leave and continue your long investigation. 3% doom. So if you didn't know, there's a doom percentage. Higher that is, the more fucked up shit happens. That's all you need to know. Uh, surely someone else must have caught one of these. Yep, remember that. Let's go to the seaside. Uh, and escape. Oh, there's something there that time. Suddenly, the air around you begins to whirl. A supernatural wave of freezing wind is approaching. Oh god, I don't have arcane grasp. Brace yourself. Strength check, success. The, the sudden blizzard disappears as fast as it began. Leave the beach quickly. Plus five experience. Nice. The young man has glassy eyes and mumbles his replies as he caresses his catch. So yeah, I remember this. Creepy dude. Um... I got money to spend. I already have friends with me. Uh, what was this again? Oh, yeah, there's that. So let's just go. Cool air suddenly fills your mouth. It tastes metallic. Before you can react, uh, you hear a low growling sound coming from behind you. Whoa! The lunar cat? What the fuck? <laughs> that is cool, but also I'm kind of scared. Because I have never encountered an enemy that looks like this. This is strange. Oh, let's do one of these. Yeah. Yeah. Fucked him up. Eldritch. Male. Oh, God. Weak against fire. Lunar Nightmare. Their damage equals to one plus the number of your allies. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hailing from the lush jungles of Tindalos. The lunar cats prey on struggling artists, sending them nightmares. That's kind of cool. Um, let's use this. Yeah, fuck them up. After a slow interrogation, the young man manages to stutter out something about an organized fishing trip. So, real quick, uh, I want to go to the police station. I've got some experience. I know leveling up is useful, but I need a little money so I can get another one of those flare guns. If that's possible. Let's do it. Alright, cool. I got one fund, so let's do that one more time. Okay. Um, I don't think it'll cost more than that. Fuck it. Let's just do it. Okay. Um, let's get more police patrols in Seaside. Make that safer. Threat level decreased. So all of these things you can do to kind of improve your situation. Um, let's go ahead and shop for items. Let's see oh man, they don't have the, uh, flare gun. Oh yeah, I'm buying cigarettes for that. <laughs> Make myself stronger. Um. Hardware shop? There it is, flare gun. Yeah. Oh god, I really don't like that background art. It starts to freak me out. Okay, let's investigate. Something gigantic and invisible leaves a deep void in the sea. It's not moving, but you swear it's watching you. I love shit like that. Ocean horror is like the best kind. What the fuck? You slip out at night and race towards the beach, terrified of what comes next. Why, am I, why is there blood everywhere? Oh, because this is the final thing. Okay. Alright, get ready. The full moon shines bright in the cloudless night sky. The ink black ocean waves glimmer eerily. All the residents have drawn their shutters tight and locked their doors. Your footsteps are silent in the sand. The only audible sounds are your ragged breathing and pounding heartbeat. You arrive at the water's edge, breathless. The possessed fishermen's boats fill the horizon with their light. Tiny yellow spots navigating across a dark ocean under a dark sky. You cannot make out the figures on board. Real catch. Hypnotized, you watch as they bob their way out of the harbor. Their lanterns move farther and farther away, and you hear the odd chanting slowly fade with the wind. You stand in the cold until the final boat is out of sight, and it is pitch black again. 
There's nothing to do now. You head home, the weird chant still in your head. So that's an ending right there. Okay. I bet, like with any mystery, if you do things a little bit differently, you may be able to find different endings. No one spoke of the fishermen after they sailed off. Grieving mothers would not let their children anywhere near the cursed beach. Over time, people forgot the last time they saw a boat on the waves. So people just don't go now. That's kind of neat. <laughs> the old god stirs. Cut off from the outside world. The whole town stopped receiving any outside signal. It must be the radio mast failure. That is weird. It's, no, it says cut off. Like, is it literally just the, the phone lines? Or are we physically cut off? A feeling of paranoia and discomfort is almost palpable in the air. Okay. Um, let's keep going. I found a small key. So yeah, this one keeps banging all the time, and I still don't really understand why. I think it's just supposed to creep you out. All right, let's uh, let's take a bath. Um, so right now I need more, probably more stamina than anything. But let's see. Then again, both are high. I could just get more experience and compensate. Um, yeah. Cool. So yeah, you can kind of explore certain things in your apartment. Um, I'm a little nervous about doing it, but you can look to the people. <laughs> yep. Creep's still here. This guy literally stalks your character, and he lives in your apartment. <clears throat> Don't like it. Uh, okay. So, tragic tale of the thumbs. Okay, okay, okay. So, that one's done, that one's done. Something. Um. Let's do the contagious coma, because I remember this had something to do with an eldritch monster, and I've, I've killed it off in two ways. But I'm, I'm thinking maybe there's something more to this mystery. More and more people fall unconscious and cannot be awakened. People who try to wake the patients up only end up falling into coma themselves. A whole wing of the town's hospital has been dedicated to warding the comatose. Is there anything connecting these people and how did this strange illness start? Let's check the news reports about this weird disease and try to find the cause before people before more people fall asleep. So this is a side quest. I'm gonna go ahead and just do it right off the bat. Um, so village location twice. There it is. Let's go. The investigation is taking a toll on you. You start to miss the most obvious leads. Okay, that's not great. Uh, let's do it again. A friend returning from a trip to Africa has invited you to dinner. This time they've outdone themselves. This is a real feast, full of exotic meats. It's getting late and you can't stay for long, but the host asks if you want to take anything home with you. Huh. Um. Why do I feel weird about this? I'm just going to refuse politely. That's okay. See me some other time, will you? Your friend says. You still have a lot to catching up to do. Okay. Cool. Oh. Help me understand the illness. Dust of sea. Okay, yeah, so I'll be able to see the creatures with that. Momentarily renders invisible creatures partially visible. Set enemy power to zero. I know there's gotta be something different about because I, I didn't have I don't know. Okay. Let's just go to the school. Let's go to the schoolyard real quick. Hey! They look fine. Nice to join me. How about some gossip first? Now ask. Share a creepy story. Now ask. You fucking forced to help me. Bitch. Combined intimidation value 94.2. Student shoves you away and escapes, screaming for help. Fucking Christ. 
I just needed a friend. God damn it. I can just wait here? Oh, I guess for more people. Ah, yeah, fuck it. That was a waste of time. She said she would do everything to be with you, even if it meant to cheat death itself. Oh, soccer chick! I hate the breathing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> alright. Beat your ass. Uh, here. Strong attack. Um, I can't really do that. I can do, uh, attack boost, right? 10% additional. And that. Okay. Yeah! Or twice. Let's do that again. Prepare that. Prepare. Small. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck her up. Alright. I got an item. A cult diary. Oh, sick. Minus 3% doom. I should probably just use that now. Yeah. I mean, it ain't gonna do much for me. <laughs> but, it's better than nothing. Reports mention a patient zero. Who could they be? Patient zero is what I did with this. So which one is patient zero? Okay, let's see. Alarmed by the sound of glass breaking, you discover the corpse of a policeman lying in a pool of blood. It looks like someone or something tore out his throat. Steal his gun, check his wounds for clues, escape before more people arrive. I want to, yeah. You won't be needing it for sure, but you still feel bad about stealing from a corpse. Oh, I lost reason, but I mean, that's a gun. That's a police revolver. Fuck yes. <laughs> I'm using that. Thank you. All right. So that's that. Let's go to the hospital, I guess. Oh, I just feel like I could be doing more. I don't know. Fuck it. You find yourself in an old, unused part of the hospital. You take a deep breath. The disgusting smell of thawed remains still lingers in the room. It used to be the hospital's mortuary, where doctors, where doctors determined the causes of death. Pull the cloth off the dissection table. Search the cabinet. Check out the freezer. Uh, I think I'm gonna check out the freezer. Like, it's it's not as scary as this option, but it's not perfect either. You take a peek into the freezer, but can't see anything important. You wonder what can smell so awful if there's nothing inside. Nearby, the body on the dissection table twitches slightly. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Oh, countless autopsies? Oh, God! Why is she alive? What the fuck? <laughs> like that. Oh, I can't incorporate. Oh, it's a ghost. Oh, oh, that's not good. I I do want to inspect it still. This is. Oh man. Flare gun. I wanted to save this for the other guys. I don't know. Otherwise, I'm doing that ritual shit. No, it's not worth it. Fuck it. Use that shit. Wait. It didn't do anything! It doesn't count for ghosts? Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm doing the ritual. Great. Bow. 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 Bow, bow. Three of them, right? Bow, bow, clap, clap, clap. Hold on. Oh, never mind. Only one? 
one. So bow, bow, clap, bow, clap, bow, something like that. I'm fu I'm so dead. I'm just dead, man. I'm fucking dead. Come on, please. Fuck. Four of them, right? Fucker. Shit, man. Fuck. Ghosts are hard. It's not fair. <laughs> uh, well. I tried my best. Didn't do too well this time, but I'm sure the next time I'll play, I'll get a little further. And, uh, you know, make sure you give me some tips in the comments, and uh, we'll work from there. So, it's been really fun, and uh, I'll see you next time. Get me in. World of Horror. Let's go. Boo there it is. You get the idea. <laughs> Gonna be playing this game with the audio like this. Okay. <laughs>